Hello men, I've been fucking around a little bit. Uh, I went over to uh, the toxic caves to get the gecko pelts from the geckos we did not kill. I now have them. Uh, we didn't, there weren't actually that many we didn't kill, there were four. And uh, yeah, it was not a massive amount. And I also tried to fuck around a bit with the uh, frame rate and stuff, but apparently that does not work. I forgot who actually sells the, has the best price for the pelts. And I also remembered something about Sulik, which, uh, which might be a bit irritating, but we're gonna keep him until he dies. Uh, and then that's that's gonna be it. We're gonna, we're gonna try and roll with it. Uh, I think he does because he, he quite likes using the, uh, the sledgehammer. Whenever he fucking does that, there's a good chance anyone he he slams on his ass, he he makes a uh, slide because they fall down and they slide two tiles, and he basically does that with almost every attack, which is extraordinarily irritating. Okay, let's see, that's a hundred and twenty. Five for that one. That's nice. Let's see what the other guy actually gets for it. So the frame rate here is weird. Like we're recording in 60, and we are regularly overloading both our GPU and encoder, which is not good. <laughs> but uh, I don't think you can actually see it happening. Let's see about this guy. What he wants for him. But yeah, it doesn't seem to affect much of anything. 25 as well. Uh. How much money does he have? How much is that? It's not atrocious. Also, I think I might have fucked up a little bit. Hmm. Might have fucked up a little bit money-wise. Not money-wise, stat-wise. Uh, I'm a little worried. Oh, nice. Wait, didn't we have five? No. Okay, we got a thingy. Because I, the thing we need to do to get an extra perception, I'm fairly certain will not happen before we are level nine. So that's John L. Sullivan, the pugiliest. Nice. Oh, you'll see. Uh, mm, that's fine. <laughs> oh, I got the hiccups. <coughs> So I'm fairly certain that we will not get the perk I would like to get at level 9, that's fine. Uh, it's a little irritating, but there are two other perks that we also would really like, and I'm a bit torn between which one of them we would want. We also, which will be next level actually, we got level finding the uh, the geckos, which of course will go into our martial ass. We could of course <laughs> put it into other stuff, but uh, well. So there's a bit more work we can do here, in fact, ah fuck off. Uh, we're actually gonna make Sulik carry some of the crap uh, Vic had that we left at Vic's house. Oh, which is nice. Uh, there's also a quest to fill a still here, and there's also, I believe, a way to get a car. Yes, you've heard right, a car. It's not as impressive as you'd think. Please still be there. Nice, okay. Whoop. Can I sign Kirbians? Actually, not awful. Let's see if I can convert some of this shit to money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see if Bath House Lady has some money. Zulik, don't you dare. Yeah, as you can see, we have the shove option now. We didn't before. We can shove good old Zulik. The spirit. We have got to know that the baths are for individuals, not groups. You make your own arrangement, blah, blah. Mm. It's clicks. Polano barter. That's some money. Hmm. Okay. No reasonable. Look at tragic cards. Oh. Here, I give you, you give me money. Okay, so there's actually a sexual experience thing in this. This becomes relevant later. Uh, <coughs> in order to achieve a certain something, at some point that I won't spoil until we get to it, you need a certain amount of sexual experience, uh, among other things. And whenever you 
Whenever you hump someone, you gain sexual experience, and depending on some parameters, among which how many drugs you are on, you will get a different amount of experience. I wonder if we should just have gone for that. That's a thousand instead of... We'll probably find one of those, honestly. That should do it, except for one. That's fine. You keep your one gold or coin. Yeah, so they're back to using coins now. No more caps. <laughs> <clears throat> Which is a thing. Don't block it, Zulik. Don't block it, Zulik. Yes. Okay, we got it out. Could, of course, steal everything here. and no, we might actually do that. There are also several places in this where you can actually get completely stuck and soft lock the game. So we're going to make a few saves here. Ah, guns and bullets. A fantastic book that we will read. How, how good are we at shooting? We, I don't think we'll ever pick up a gun. We'll have a read about them with the stain. 35. Nope. 41. You know how to handle your guns better. Also, there's an option called combat looks, which I have now turned on. I thought I had before as well. So uh, put combat speed up a little bit as well. <coughs> Everything's fine. So I'll tell you. It's fine as well. There, this will, this will make our guy, supposedly. I've never actually played with that. I looked up what it was for. This will make our guy automatically go like this, or whenever he's combated the dude, like, look. And it goes, he looks unhurt. We'll get a little update of the, uh, to get an idea of how much, uh, how much health the dude has left. We will, unlike El Bolo, uh, not be picking the awareness perk. We are not going to be completely 100% aware of, uh, people's hit points or ammo count or anything like that. It's unnecessary to us as we require only to punch people repeatedly in the head until they die. So counting hit points and ammo and shit is uh, it's not relevant to us. It would of course mean that we would have a better idea. Like uh, El Bolo did it because he would have a, be a better idea of when to heal. Uh, but uh, we have we have no such so no such need because well, Basically, the way we fight is we either one-shot things or we don't, and then we're in shit. So that's fine. And I think, just like, for that one, you can't actually get into shit for stealing anything. We will, however, have a look. Uh, 230. Let's see if this changes by us stealing things. Uh, we might actually get in shit by doing that, so let's just close the door here. Sulik, you fuck, don't... It's number two, isn't it? Our lockpick is not fantastic. There, we did it. Did that do anything to our reputation? No, it's the same. Yeah, we start with, uh, we're kind of dumb and we took gifted, so we, uh, our lockpicking did not picture of Elvis. Worth quite a lot. Jerky, some jerky. Yeah, uh, our higher starting agility is what me uh, gives us the uh, bonus to lock picking that we have currently. And I was actually quite lucky as well. Had I failed that one more time, we would have fucked up the lock, and we'd either have to blow up the door or uh, beat it up with a crowbar, I think, or save scum. But we don't, we don't do that. Okay, so there is a bunch of other quests here. One involving the old four, so let's have a look. You aren't my kind of drinking buddy. Well, fuck you then. My mama ain't in here. Oh. Are you suggesting my mother's a prostitute? You fucking slag. <laughs> Buy a round of drinks. Yay! Hmm. Uh, a round of piss for the... Everyone in here is drinking lizard piss. It's just beer. Golden gecko. Gecko piss. Are you slow? What? Shakes his head. A little bit, yeah. How do you know I'm a fucking tribal? I'm wearing a thing. I'm Mel Gibson again. Yeah, I'm a tribal. Nice of you to drink with us low lives. That's what we want anyway. Ah, uh, well. Wait, no, we... Oh. We traded with this guy, haven't we? Got all kinds of things. Special sources. Ooh. 
Don't know what you're talking about. One trade or not. Uh, I think we need to do a thing for him before he uh, starts getting new stock. Want oh, some money here. I found this painting in your own house. Maybe you want to buy it off me. Hmm. Oh, god damn it. Shouldn't have bought the... Uh, uh, we might need that. This is actually okay for us, but fuck it. Uh, the booze we might need on some dude. We don't need that many of these. They, in fact, sell for fuck all. Hmm. Jerky. Mud fruit, fuck it. Yeah, we're not gonna make that. Make that price, I think. Boo, fucking hiss. <laughs> yeah, how are you gonna repay me for this Elvis, mate? Probably not like that, because that's gonna skyrocket the price. God damn it, man. I'm just gonna keep my fucking Elvis. You can have everything else then. That's not what I dragged over there, but uh, sure. Wait, what? Ah, I see. Oh, I'm so restless. There, okay. So a single jerk. Double jerk. Another fruit. Fuck your six. Carry the ass. Offer. There you go. Good man. I want to accumulate those funds for later purpose. Right, the thing down here said something about a still. I think there's actually a timer on that one. <coughs> uh, we might actually also have to talk to Buckner again. Because I believe Thor has gotten himself into shit. Or at least he should be. Uh, there, there's so many triggers for this, I don't remember half of it. And even when I played this back then, I couldn't England for the life of me, so... Next level, though, we should, uh, our strong, uh, kick should upgrade. So, it will now be better than Spike Knuckles, which we haven't managed to find anyway, so what the fuck's the meaning? Uh, I uh, wondering if there's person talked about local news and events. Talk to my daughter, am I okay right now? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm, you're back, I don't care. So I can lost. Sure, he's lost without me telling him what to do. Sure. Mm, I'm have some questions. Have you heard of some? No. Tell me what's what's going on here, Clamet. Uh, better ask Mama about what's going on. God damn it! He's told me to talk to you. What other towns are nearby? Got a lot of near There's Reading to the southwest, and the Den a few days south. I don't. Uh, but I wouldn't go to the Den. Reading. There's a guy there that we can have in our party, and his daughter is in New Vegas. There's actually quite a lot in New Vegas referred to uh, from here. Oh, when you want to go to the den. The den is a bad place to go. They even enslave ignorant tribals like yourself. It's a week or so south of here, but most of uh, most folks uh, that have gone there don't come back. Oh, turn back to uh, local tribes. Is Sulik your slave or just treat him like one? Sulik's a tribal that's what's wor that's working here to pay off a debt he foolishly incurred. He's not a slave. We don't do slaves in Klamath. Paying off debt, what do you mean? Let's see, Sulik got real upset one night and had uh, too much booze, then uh, when he was uh, good and drunk, he busted up the place. He nearly did 500 dollar rules worth of damage. Just now getting the place repaired. Why did he get so upset? He said he found out that his sister had been kidnapped by slavers, uh, but you have to ask him more about that. He's here until we can pay off the rest of the damage, and he did while he's drunk. How much does he have to work off? Mm, he still has to pay off 350. If he weren't so lazy and shiftless, it would be quicker for him. He's not leaving until his debt is painful. Okay, so Zulik is a big, burly-ass tribal. Fucks a lot of ass. And it's really, really nice of him to actually stay around and try and work off his ass. So she's being kind of mean to him. But I think she kind of, she sort of loves him, I guess. A lot of money. Be here for a long time. Well, he may be slow, but he does sort of grow on you after a while. Looks away wistfully flustered. Now, that's enough jaw flapping. Do you need anything else? Uh, that's all I need for now, thanks. 
Supposedly, uh, the stuff we did getting Smiley was only gonna actually reduce his debt to 200 so we could buy him, but apparently uh, not. My name's Whiskey Bob. How's oh, there we go. I'm Del Swallow. Uh, nice to meet you, Whiskey Bob. Always sure uh, nice to find another drinking buddy. Want to buy me a drink? Talking always makes me thirsty. Sure, Bob. Don't mind a bit. Thanks for the drink, partner. Now what's my... Uh, now that's my whistle wet. I feel I can share a little problem I have. Hey, maybe you can help me out. Sure. See, I have a little uh, side business that I need some help attending to. I have a moonshine still outside of town that needs to be fueled up every so often. Since a gecko done bit my leg, I can't hobble out to it before it runs out of fuel. I'll tell you where it is if you'll refuel it for me. It's worth fitting to me. I'll do it. Tell me more. All you have to do is find a little shack just south of town. Go inside and dump firewood into the still. Then come back uh, here and I'll give you your money. But it needs to be done within the next day or my bats or hooch will go bad. Uh, yeah, sure. We don't we don't barter. We're honest type. You'll do it. Great. Remember you gotta do it soon or my hooch will go bad. Th thanks a heap. No problem. See you in a day. So he has to hobble out there to actually get his fucking hooch anyway. Let's have a look at the map here. So, south of town, this must be that one. I was gonna save in case it isn't. <laughs> okay, so as far as I recall, there's a little bit of Satan out here. Just regular geckos that we will naturally beat the shit out of. Uh, is this where his shack is? It should be. There it is, okay, you're good. We're of course gonna kill every fucking thing here, so that's our way of raising d trick. It would have been nice if if I could have scrolled the map there, but I guess not. Okay, I'm gonna try and lure this guy out so Sulik doesn't fucking knock him into the other side. Oh, god damn it, man. Oh, thank fuck. Yeah, see, he does that. He couldn't slide any further because I'm in the way right now. Otherwise, he would have knocked him out the map, I think. Sulik, you weirdo. He does hit a lot. Looks severely wounded. This is nice. That's how you do it. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh, Sulik. Tough little gecko. Yeah, slightly burlier than the others. I'm gonna keep an eye out for Sander Root and Brock Flower. I don't actually know if they grow elsewhere, but that little place where you get them the first time. Also, we're radiated, but I don't think... I don't think we're actually taking any damage from it at all, so... Until we do, no reason using a slat slat away. See if I can get this before Sulik gets here, shame him. He's unconscious. Fuck. Stop ending combat just because they're unconscious. It's very silly. I think they wake up after about three turns or something. At least that's my experience so far. It might be somewhat randomized, uh, but going out of combat makes those turn pass really quickly. <laughs> hey, Golden Gecko. I wonder if there's a button for me to start combat. <clears throat> I don't know. It would be nice because then I can get my surprise round. Uh, whoever starts combat, especially with high, uh, especially with high initiative or sequence, as it's called in this, gets a free round, which we want. He's a good money. It's good we did smiley before this. Not not like that, deviant. I'm gonna wait. Okay, Sulik, don't run down there and knock him to shit. Ah, you missed, you fucker. Okay, that's fine. Sulik has about 80 hit points. We need to make sure he doesn't... Oh, now I'm doing it. I'm sorry. Yeah, so the, the amount of tiles they slide, I think, is your strength divided by half or something. So in our case, it would be, uh, with the rounding down, it would be about, I think, four tiles. Which is unfortunate. Uh, I think knocking them down and doing shit like that is much more like- Hey, here we go! We actually have the jab now, which means we should also have- I no, just strong kick. Okay, yeah, we have a jab now. Which is a, uh, I think, slightly weaker version, but... It uh, costs less AP, which means we can we can go a bit ape shit with it. I don't think- do we have 12 action points? I don't think so. I think we have exact. we have 10. Which is a bit of a shame. 
but there we go. Four hit points. Yeah, that wasn't that impressive, but uh, fuck it. Yeah, loot this one up here. Probably gonna keep using the strong kick for now. Uh, uh, it seems seems nicer. Surely gets unhurt. Weird. I thought you took at least a few slaps. Yeah, the thing we need to do to get the extra perception actually involves us going to somewhere and then going to somewhere else that is the rhythm that is very, very far away and kind of dangerous and also somewhere we shouldn't be going for quite a while, so it's, it's kind of ass as well. It's the same way you can increase your intelligence slightly, but which ideally is something we do early to maximize these skill points. Almost dead. <laughs> it's combat looking is nice. Wait, hold on. Strong punch and jab is the same. Hmm. I should look up the bullshit. I have to do this after this set. I don't trust myself to minimize. Thank you, Zulik. I didn't want to be anywhere near that guy. Yeah, this is why we might not keep Zulik. But we're gonna have him, it's not gonna be like dog meat. We're gonna keep him. When he dies, he dies. Uh, unless the fight goes wrong for other reasons, we're not gonna load when he dies. If he had had a companion quest that actually worked, then sure, we might have might have been interested in that. And while I like him, he... Yeah. He uh, is sort of disruptive in combat. And Oh, thank you for locating the door, you deviant. Where's the wood there? Don't know how much wood needs to go in there. This seems like the sort of thing that might need to be a bit more accurate. Again, 100 XP if you feel just to put some more wood in there. There's no more room in there for the wood, so I have extra wood now for no fucking reason. More gokos, geckos. No brock flower, sand the root, f fruit, anything. Sulik moseys on. Uh, a single gecko more. Uh, three. That's all right. Come out, me. I thought I upped the combat speed. Why are you so fucking slow? That's it. I wonder if jab is actually stronger than. Uh, I don't know why I thought it was less AP. Wonder if it was uh, stronger than the old kick. We'll see, I guess. At some point, I'm gonna accidentally target Sulik and one point kill him. Fucking dime mac him to die. 24. Yep. Our strength combined with. Uh, Combined with the punches we're using and where we're hitting with them, when it bypasses uh, the penalty we have from finesse, we really hurt quite fucking hard. Although it should only be 30%, so we should still hurt reasonably hard. I mean, crits are crits, right? Yeah. Th that fucking rat cave was... XP central, honestly. I got that one, didn't I? I think I did. Oh, that was a mistake. Well. Sometimes the guy you fight in the temple, the guy from your tribe, remember, says he when one of his combat taunts is because he's a tribal, he'll go, I'll dishonor your tribe, which is also his tribe, so that's a bit weird. And you might uh, have heard me sometimes on stream insulting a RimWorld character with bad accuracy, going, you shoot like old people fuck. That's actually completely and utterly ripped off from this. It's one of the combat taunts. I do, however, for my own special brand of humor, usually add at the end, with great care and deliberation. Because I, uh, you gotta be, if you're gonna steal, you gotta have, you gotta be a little original at least. Play mat, wrapping grounds. 
weed. Yeah, I can't click too far up. You won't be able to run all the way up there then. Oh, that was fairly successful. I think Sulik got more in our way than not, but we might be able to actually convince him to not be such a turd. Uh, what you be need? Combat control. Come on, mate. Okay, so... Uh, defensive. Right? Voice wiggles. Oh, he's lost four hit points. Not carrying that much. He's good at melee weapons. We might give him... I think the, the sledgehammer, especially the thrust with it, as the pokey attack, has a uh, much, much better chance of... Uh, oh, custom. Mm. Okay, yeah. You need a tourniquet. Weapon preference, melee then ranged. Uh, okay. Distance charge. Stay close to me. Mm. Attack who? Whoever's attacking me. Stimpacks won't hurt a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. You might notice some of those were grayed out. That is unique to Sulik. He is, uh, there are some ways he will not fight. Tell me about spirits. Spirits be willing to talk. What you want? This place? Evil spirits aren't killing cattle. What you mean? Indeed, it's not the Bugman. It is, in fact, what are they called? The, uh, Dunton Brothers. That we know about. Where's Whiskey Pete? Is that you there? There you go. Oh, gee, thanks for refueling my still for me. Here's your thing. Here you got a question? Honestly. Yeah, tell me about town, Bob. All sorts of things going on here about Slaty. We've got Brahmin mutilators, walking spirits, gigantical rats, and missing people. Even Some even say the den's involved. Talking about the Brahmin mutilations, some say that critters look like giant man-shaped bugs in a shell and everything, uh, mutilating Brahmin at the night. All they uh, find... Uh, all they find are the torn, open, horribly hacked up Brahmin corpse. So that sounds horrible. Yes, indeed. That, that's the Dunt Brothers. Uh, I think they might just, because they cut the quest with that whole thing, they kept the pincers item we picked up and the dialogue, but uh, they just added a bunch of scorpions and made that the quest instead, I think, sadly. Few people have seen the Bugman, but as one who's got the best look was Thor, the Buckner boy. Uh, what he saw scared him half out of his wits, and the poor lad is a bit shy in that department already. Ah, oh, incredible. Let's talk about something else. Tell me about the walking spirits. Uh, the kind just west of here had the bright light in it a few months back. Ever since, every now and then, there's been horrible squealing sound that comes from the canyon. Brahmin that wander in don't come back. Everyone's afraid to go near. Why do you let your Brahmin wander in there anyway? I mean, you would want to save your cattle, right? Yes, surely a sign of spirit infestation. If only you had a competent shaman. Tell me about something else. Mm, the Gantical Rats. You've, I've got to hear more about these. Well, uh, out back of Trapper Town, just west of downtown, there's a, a back section that's overrun by rats. The further back you go, the bigger they get. Some say that there's one of the huge, huge great rat spirits that's leading them. Or some of the trappers won't even stay out there anymore. They say it's too dangerous. Trappers are ousted by rats. Tell me some other things, mate. The den. What kind of den? A den, not the den. Uh, not a den, the fuck. I'm actually... I don't think there are grades of stupid. I think you're either dumb or not. Uh, or And or have speech options. And sometimes your perception lets you have other options in combat as well. Your intelligence or your stats and shit. But I don't think that... I think we're playing the tribal angle. I think this is basically options already available to him. I don't think it's because we're dumb. I think it's because we're supposed to be played as a tribal. If we were dumb, we'd all speak like, we'd, everything we'd say would be speak like speaking like Thor. He'd be like, we'd just grunt at people. Uh, you'll not find a greater hive of, of scum and villainy. Now, where did I hear that? In any case, it's a rough sort of place a few days travel south of Klamath. Anything can be had there for a price, even slaves. But you have to be very careful there. Lots of short tempers, uh, attached to dangerous weapons. I don't think uh, they have to, uh, much to do with us, though. We're too poor here. I think I'll be safe enough there. I know how to handle myself. Uh, missing people. Tell me more. Lately, we've had a couple of people go missing. A trader named Vic, who specialized in pre-war stuff, and one of our best trappers. Tell me about this trader called Vic. Well, Vic was quite a fella. He didn't like to work too much, uh, so he would specialize in expensive pre-war things and then go sell them in the den. 
or even hawk them to stupid tribals uh, as religious artifacts. Chuckles to himself. Uh, oops, no offense. Anyhow, I haven't seen him for a while. Last I heard, he went south to sell some stuff, maybe to the den. Indeed. Vic's also one of the few people who have a uh, custom model. Uh, which is weird, because he's sort of dumb. But he has high repair. What about the missing trapper? The real person you want to talk to trapper is Mrs. Buckler. Well, he smiley's... Is that smiley? Yeah, it is, I think. That's not... That's not the plug your list. Uh... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, tell me about some other shit. Something else? Ever heard of a gek? Gone to face and greeting it? Why? I think I saw one of those listed on a page of an old catalog I was looking through while I was uh, sitting down out back, but I don't know much about more about it than that. Really, I'd like to see that catalog. Uh, embarrassed, I kind of used that page to take care of some business, you know what I mean? Business? What kind of business? I prefer old newspaper myself. Well, this is a poop. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> the gex actually real. It's a real thing, and it works. I'll, uh, I'll tell you what. Uh... It seems like an idiotic thing that a stupid tribal would like, but uh, it is a thing and it functions. And I believe there's actually also one in Fallout 3. Or is it just New Vegas? I know one of them has one. A hey, defender. Claimeth liked. Den neutral. We heard of the den. That's why it showed up here now. Uh, because they told us where it, where it is. <coughs> so it shows it should be visible on the map now. Oh damn. Which also means, well... You're not, thank you. I am nice, aren't I? Uh, now, would you fuck off so you don't see me lockpick this? Not that I think you care. I'll likely fuck this up anyway. Oh, I can actually do more than a few. Oh, there we go. I fucking did it. It's a box of what? Golden Gecko Pelt score. This might have been what I sold them before. Oh, hello. Oh, it's in the other room. Wait, hello, that's... Oh, it's Sulik staring at me through the wall, you creepy bastard. Uh, you may join our tribe, yes, kid. I think we could probably do with some more genetic material. Uh, I know the... The Walt Dweller was supposed to pick up a bunch of dudes that eventually joined the tribe. Uh, but, uh... I think the, uh... Gene pool might be a bit shallow at this point. We could probably afford this. If we sell all these pelts. I think this is probably the also one of the places that give you the best prices for pelts, but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wait a little bit with that, I think, because we want to uh actually do I have a crowbar? I don't think I do. No. Well that's for me then. I'm gonna sell some of the smaller pelts because I think they actually weigh a lot more. Five would be almost correct. These six would be about right. Nice. Uh, beer is good. There's a thing we can do to increase our hit points, but we need to be dumber. Uh, I'll have your one gold as well. I call it gold. It's a coin. There. It's, an, it's indeed a good trade. You now love me because I gave you more money. I don't think it works like that. Defender. Okay, that didn't do anything. Okay, well, that's been that's been this time. I'm gonna go look up Jab, and then we will return immediately. Of course, for you, it will be two days. TTL.